Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Mr. Hurricane and I wanted to add a quick intro to this video because I've never made anything quite like this. I've wanted to get more into streaming lately and I want to play a variety of different sports games. I've had the idea to go and stream a game, see what happens, and then turn the result into an edited video as long as it was a good time and I think it would make for fun content. If you'd like to see more content like this on other games like NFL Head Coach, All Pro Football, older versions of Madden, I think that it would be a really fun time. So if you do as well, please leave a like on this video, leave your feedback down below in the comment section, and let me know what you thought of this little experiment here. I thought it was fun, even if the game needs a lot of work. I think that this format could make for some interesting content here. And if you want to follow these streams, youtube.com slash MrHurricane, that's where I will be doing them. But I hope you enjoy today's video, and have a great day. We're going to hang out today and play a little Maximum Football 2019. Would I consider this for a Sim series? You know, I haven't even played a game yet. I'm here to give you initial impressions and uh, stream my first time playing the game. And we'll just see what happens. Marcus Mooney could give Austin Jenkins a run for his money. Oh, we're going to see what the running backs can do. And here we go on Maximum Football 2019. My very first return up to the 20. Okay. Let's go by formation. So I have to use this all with the D-pad here, it looks like. Ace Trey, Shake Bake, my very first play in Maximum Football. And let's see. That's how we start, just like we planned. Here we go, that's play art. And the ball is snapped. And sacked on the very first play. Now I know that from reading a lot of the impressions, the pressure arrives pretty quick. So we're going to be throwing the ball a lot on this first possession, it looks like, because we're already behind the sticks. And kind of like uh, the play design here. So let's see what we can make happen on third and 26 instead. <laughs> Delay of game. Sack. This is Miami Dolphins football 2019. That two-point conversion attempt was horrible. They tried to do like that Danny Amendola touchdown play New England ran. Like, even if he caught the ball, like, no, he was not scoring. So, okay, we're not blocking. We're just trying to complete a pass. My punt is going to travel past the returner. He's going to pick it up while on his stomach. And he's ruled down at the 39 of Dallas. How do I switch player? R1. They're running with Doug Flutie. That looked like option to me. I might actually use her on defense here. Preferably zone defenders and not corners. Oh! Almost a pick right there. So let's see if we can defend third and four. Flutie scrambling and sliding down shy of the sticks. He did not get there. All right. Let's see. 48-yard uh, try it should be. Nope. Couldn't make it there. It's impossible to get a pick in this game. Okay. All right, so I know you can't get sacked on a running play. Usually. What's timeout? I don't know. Snap the ball. I don't even know what timeout is. That's my second delay of game call. Can I audible to a deep pass? There's no safety middle of the field. We're calling bingo. And they did not adjust. All right, I need... Just get open. Just get open. That didn't work either. Basically, our left tackle is wrecking the game. That's an interesting alignment by a triangle over there. Um, back to pass. And I got my first yards. I'm watching our left tackle at the snap every play. And here we are with a chance to throw it down the field. It's incomplete. But we actually had more than a second in the pocket. Just kind of playing uh, two-man under on most of these plays. I think it's a safe play call. Coverage looks tight. But they go delayed. And I'm right there with the user stop. And we just took the running back out for the remainder of the game. 
Um, get over there. I want that. I missed it. We can still pick it up. And down at the one. So here we go. Under center. It's a QB sneak. Gain of six. All right. Now I have to throw it and avoid a safety, which is probably one of the most likely ways anyone's scoring in this game. So who, uh, what is the outcome you expect here? Would you think safety or do you expect me to make the play? Because here we are and we're going to dump it off. I had a perfect call. All right. We got Simlick back here at safety. Third and seven from the Dallas 31. They're trying to get in scoring range. They'll run it for no gain. Please miss it. Please miss it. I've got to get points now. I was hoping for a 0-0 tie. But apparently I'm going to have to find a way to score points after all. All right. Two minute drill time. Just got to complete a quick pass. What's the worst that could happen? Well... I have completed one pass. It went, what are my yards? Can I check stats in game? Only from here. One for five, negative 12 yards because they're counting my lost sack yardage. I have negative 20 yards so far in like three or four possessions. Second down with Flutie. He's got time and uh oh, he was out of bounds. I know he stepped out of bounds. No reason to go away from man coverage yet. Maybe a little safety blitz. Simlick. Here he comes. And the pass by Woodmore is shy of the sticks. I'm not sure they got a very good spot on that one. We're running this. And got eight yards. A second and two. We got full house blocking. And here we go. I did not follow the play at all. Another play that might work with this offense. We're going to have to go to our fullback. And here he is. Blind Bree. Oh, that was a nice run. And now I call the pass play. Could that be seen as a mistake? Snap. And sack. First and five here to begin the fourth quarter. Flutie tosses it out. That was a nice run, though. Split backs here for Boston. Flutie under pressure. Throws it backwards. And LeMaster's not going to get there. All right, we're calling Gopher. They're undefeated this year. Play art. You know what? That's probably better than what was actually going to happen. What do you do in this situation? Needing points. You run the ball. And Blind Bree to the outside. He's got the first and he's not done until he reaches the 35 yard line and toss right sure pack in the game gets a block from his receiver and he's close to another first down with a holding call the first holding of the game <laughs> holding Garrett Bowles has entered the chat <laughs> I just had a play I really wanted to call where to go Oh no, there's nowhere to go. I had to run it on first and 20. It's the way this game has been. I'm going to have to throw. It's the only way. A minute 35 left. Up top and deflected to the ground. Pass interference. Yes. Can we do that? Why would it auto decline? Except automatic first down. I believe in Dallas. This team, we've been through a lot, but we can get there. First and 10, across the middle. He didn't pick it. There are too many defenders on the line of scrimmage. We cannot block this play. We can't. Scramble. Can't do that either. Maybe that's the call here. Or almost intercepted. That's another idea too. Pass interference number two. We're going to draw PI and then with 59 seconds having to get in field goal range. Yes, we are running the football for no gain. And I think I have to call timeout to call pause to call timeout. 
They're bringing pressure. Got it away! No, he got a hand on it! Oh. Please tell me he does motion, because if I have to wait for him to circumnavigate the earth to get up the sideline, I'm never going to complete this. Well, that's how it's run! And I got time! What? He never cut up! Oh, Dolphins didn't go for two. They went for Tua. I love that. This is game right here, everybody. Gotta go downfield. Here we go, up top! It is deflected and off a lot of players and turnover on downs. But they might just keep us in the game by throwing. Doug Flutie to the end zone. The game has no sportsmanship. Can we play some college? I might check it out after this. So, um, we managed to finish the game with negative 20 yards. We had 44 rushing, though, which is pretty good. College football dynasty here in Maximum Football 2019. Let's go. The Owen 12 Express. They went... 4 and 88 though last year the atlanta state pack need my help and they're about to get it but they lost 88 out of 92 games they are a team in atlanta georgia they have extremely low everything conference power pro development fandom degree reputation we need the best punter Deontay Dakota from Texas eats a protein bar as a pregame ritual. Dreams of having an endorsement deal one day. Joe Slayman on the board. He once won a hot dog eating contest. On the board, Byron Lant. He streams every video game he plays. Zach Treese on the board at the very top. Lives in a treehouse during the summer for fun. Well, that makes two of us. Ollie Sparks has entered the chat. Fantastic. Just gonna send him a text. Just easy. Thanks for the text, coach. We found out pitch unlocked. Media spotlight unknown. So did I find out any information? We gotta give him a call now. I just really wanted to ask you what you felt about... Uh, my coaching reputation. Perhaps you've seen what I've done with the Arizona Cardinals, the Cleveland Browns, the Kalispell Warhawks. You know, I really want you to understand what kind of coach I am. I'm going to get a pizza or something, but you can keep talking. <laughs> Marcus, thank you for answering my call. Yeah, uh, our campus atmosphere. Have you heard of uh, Atlanta State? It's a really interesting place. You don't care. You just want to play football. That's perfect. Our campus has no atmosphere, and we can totally focus on football. What do you say? I'll offer you a scholarship right now. I'm ready to get this team back on the right track. We're ranked 119th in the country. Hashtag join our pack today. I messed up. It says you're the spikes. How? How? I picked the wrong team? Well, I've got to redo that. But Birmingham State is set to kick off. Atlanta State trying to improve upon their 4-88 record a year ago. A record that they uh, do not want to duplicate. And they will begin their season after a, turn, a return by Hakimian to the 19-yard line. Now, there's been a lot of speculation about the offense Atlanta State's going to run this year. But one thing I totally believe in here is to run the football. And don't take delay of games and sacks every time. Three-man front. I like this. Can I uh, audible and flip the play? No. But here we go. As we hand it to Cop Show, who will pick up one yard on his first carry of the season. I think one thing we should do early on is test out our left tackle. Can he handle the rush off the edge? Birmingham State is crowding the line of scrimmage. 
And this could be trouble here, especially with our receiver's route projected to go out of bounds. But here's the snap. And down goes Luchis. Luchesi. I keep thinking of Joey Lu... Uh, What's, how do you pronounce his name for the Padres? Joey Lucchese? Sometimes you just gotta check out pro baseball reference in the middle of a football stream. But we're set to throw it now from the goal line and just making the catch out of bounds. That is going to lead to fourth and 22 for Atlanta State on their opening possession of the season. Split formation here for Birmingham State. Michaela back to pass and it's nearly picked. Third and 12 now for Birmingham State. Just into Atlanta territory and sacked by Loftus. There we go. Good defense to open. Lucchese at quarterback and cop show. He's got room out here. Tries the spin and is taken down after he picks up first down yardage. It's far from being like a great football game. I just want to see if the game is able to get better as this ball is floated out and there is trouble and this is trouble for Birmingham State. Touchdown pack. What a play. How about that one? 89 yard touchdown and we are in front. McCaleb hands it to Stalvey, and he's just going nowhere. What a hit by number 59. Lucchese back to pass. Floating it outside. Oh, it's tipped. Could not get it to number 81, and that's going to be a three and out for the pack. Deacon near the line of scrimmage. Blitzing McCaleb, who steps up and fires outside. So he had the presence of mind there to avoid the pressure and make a throw. That's kind of a cool little play there. I want to I want to watch that one back. I do a little user rush and he's able to feel it and he steps up, gets it away. I, I'm not sure how to angle the camera. I'm just panning, but uh, catch made. So that was cool. Yeah, the player movement feels robotic, but some of their decisions feel really good. Like the ball carrier vision from what I've seen so far out of the CPU is actually quite decent as McCaleb, he runs up the left side and he's got a first down. So we've got to be aware of the quarterback run. McCaleb does not toss it backwards. Instead, he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Is there anybody covering 12 here? Like... I should probably do that myself as McCaleb takes off again. And Birmingham State has found their success on this possession behind the running of McCaleb. So I'm going to start spying McCaleb then as he passes deep to the end zone. Touchdown. Are we sure he didn't step out of bounds before bringing that in? Now, do you think the same thing here would be fun if I played a game like NFL Head Coach and was trying to make a series for the second channel in this kind of a format? So a tie game now at 234 to play in the second. Lucchese hands off. Cop show. He's got blocks and eventually he'll find his way outside and pick up seven. I have not seen a fumble yet or an interception, Zach. But you know me. If there's an interception to be thrown, I'll find a way. Lucchese's got time. Caught! So we can afford to keep this in the air and dump it off to our running back. Cop show turns up. Nice play. So, pitch out. It's Kite Sock. And he's got a blocker and a first down as well. First down, Atlanta State. Maybe that left tackle was just the worst player. Yeah, he didn't make it easy. He didn't block anybody when I was playing as Dallas. Now we got a chance. Lucchese floats it. Dender across the field. Turns up to the 10-5 touchdown. A little catch and run action now for Atlanta State. Lucchese has two passing touchdowns on the day. And we've taken the lead. So a minute 43 left to go. What will they try? They'll go with a run. Nothing there. Michaela back to pass to the sideline. Oh, nice hit. That prevents the first down. And now I will call a timeout. Is it not fourth down? It's fourth and two, and they're going for it at their own 28. Whoa. Never seen the AI do this in the first half. Michaela back to pass outside. He waited too long. He had him open, 
but the hesitation costs him. Turnover on downs. So we have a chance to extend our lead. We still have a couple timeouts to use. And Cop Show up the middle gets a couple. And we do spread the field here on third and nine. Float it out there. Oh, it's underthrown and caught. It's a first down inside the 10 yard line. The drive is not yet over. I'm watching to see if Circle can get open here in the end zone. Over the middle. He's down to the four. With 34 seconds remaining. We let it develop. Lucchese. Winner. Touchdown. That's three. Over the middle. He's there. Oh, so close. Just got to try to get something here and avoid the safety. How about deep down the middle? Got him. It's Vautrin, and here he goes, everybody, accelerating away from the defense. How about a 96-yard touchdown? It's the fourth on the day for Lucchese, and Atlanta State is on the board again. He's got two receivers to the right side, and he'll throw it to the end zone. Oh, he didn't get it. It's 27-7. to I like to track, you know, how it can improve throughout this cycle, because there are some foundational pieces in place that they can build around. And it's great they have a dynasty mode. You know what someone needs to do as a football game idea? Can't someone just like buy Backbreaker and make Backbreaker 2? But of course it wasn't great. It needed some work. Oh! I threw a pick I thought that was impossible in this game! It's impossible to get a pick in this game. Okay. <laughs> Come on. The interceptions just have a way of finding me. I was told there were no interceptions in this game. Michaela, uh oh, there's heavy pressure right away. He's going down. Yeah, a lot of these uh, blitzes and rushes, like there's nothing the quarterbacks can do if you have the right play call. And um, just try to have a good time overall. Let's go! Belangia on the interception. Atlanta State football. And that should just about do it. We will work on running this clock out now. Cop show. He's got nine. Hand off. Cop show. Can he get in? Oh, the juke! Touchdown, Atlanta State. We're going for two because why not? We're gonna get it! Tilson with the catch. 35-7. Okay, you can aim it up. I'm gonna try a squib kick. Squibs work in this game. All I'm gonna say, squib kicks function like they should. How about that, though? 274 yards of uh, passing. I was not expecting that kind of a game. Taryn Lucchese, the sophomore, had a fantastic game. 9 for 18, 4 touchdowns, the 1 interception. On the ground, Zaire Kopcho had 33 yards and a touchdown. We had 14 yards for Rigoberto Kitesock. And uh, Lucchese had a uh, negative four. Receiving. Michael Vautrin, a 96-yard touchdown for our tight end. TJ Tribal, he had a touchdown on the 89-yarder. Uh, Michael Dender scored as well, along with Adam Witter, the freshman. Well, that's a look at Maximum Football 2019. If you'd like to see me do more of this, let me know. If this turns into a video on the second channel, I hope you had a good time watching it. That's going to do it for today, everybody. Maximum Football 2019. Maybe we'll do this again, but we will check out Axis Football as well at some point.